Hello, and welcome once again to Stuff and Things, where I like to discuss stuff and occasionally even things. I'm your good friend Bradley, and today I thought we would continue on with our little show and tell of my pipe collection. Last time I showed you some of the Savinelli pipes that I own, and now I'm going to show you some of the Peterson pipes I have. Petersons are some of my very favorite pipes, one of my favorite pipe makers, um, along with Savinelli. So, without further ado, let's take a look. Well, here we go. These are my Peterson pipes. I have five currently. Every single one has a silver collar, by the way. I kind of like that look on these. This is the very first Peterson pipe I ever purchased. This is a Deluxe 8S. I don't know if we can pick that up in the viewfinder here. We have Peterson Deluxe on the other side 8S. It's a, kind of a smaller one of their deluxe system pipes. Um, they have a system range with a standard system, they have system premier, and then system deluxe is the highest grade on their system pipe. So this is the dry system, the Peterson patented dry system. Um, you can see here there's this little aluminum stinger that goes on the end and within the bowl there's actually, well, you can't see into the bowl, but there's actually a reservoir in there. And so when you're smoking, this reservoir is down here in the bottom of the shank, and the air hole or that goes into the bowl is actually above that. But then this stinger goes down into that reservoir, and so when it, it draws the smoke in here, supposedly any of the moisture can um, precipitate into this reservoir, and so you end up with a drier smoke. I enjoy it a lot. I found that it actually does work. It seems to really have a nice, dry, um, kind of cool smoke. So I'm a big fan. And this also has the P-lip mouthpiece there, where the hole on the end of the stem actually comes out the top. And then there's this little P-lip for you to rest your lip on there. So that's supposed to prevent tongue bite because the smoke goes up to the roof of your mouth instead of hitting right on your tongue. Some people find this a little controversial. Some people don't like it very much. I like it just fine. Um, probably has to do with the fact that when I first started smoking pipes, or really started smoking pipes, I started out with a P-lip, so I got used to it. It wasn't anything that freaked me out. I didn't have years of fishtails under my belt. But anyway, this pipe, I really enjoyed it when I first got it, and then there was a period where I wasn't enjoying it as much, and then just recently, I actually ended up drilling out the air hole. Um, I got a 532nd drill bit that I attached to a just screwdriver handle, and I very carefully drilled out. I didn't take out any wood or anything, it was just some of the tar that builds up in there, and even though I use a pipe cleaner every single time to clean out the shank, still got a little bit of tar, and now the air hole or the draft is much wider, much easier, and I'm enjoying this pipe a lot more again. It's a pretty small bowl, so this is good for, you know, half-hour smokes. And I smoke pretty much anything in this. I don't smoke aromatics at all, so this will have Virginias, this will have Englishes, this will have Balkans. Uh, pretty much whatever catches my fancy. It's pretty good for flake, too. So that's the very first Peterson, the Deluxe 8S. Oh, and this was made in 86, I believe. The hallmark will be too small to see, but yeah, I think it was 1986 when that was made. The second Peterson I ever got is this guy here. This is a Peterson Sterling Silver series. So this isn't a system pipe. Um, it's just a normal bent brandy shape. I think it's shape 68 in the Peterson shape chart. But again, it has a silver collar here, hallmarked. And pretty cool grain on this. And I like the contrasting stain that it has. But there's kind of interesting cross grain on the back, and then if you can see that on the top of the shank and on the actual top of the bowl on the rim. And then some bird's eye on either flank. And I like this. It's a very comfortable pipe. It just fits really well in the hand. It's a little heavier, um, but you can still clench it, and it does just fine. This also has a P-lip. But I like this pipe a lot. I don't know what it is, just the ergonomics of it. Um, just feels good in the hand, smokes well. 
really quality. And the Sterling Silver isn't really, you know, a really high-end um, Peterson pipe. Pretty good briar. In fact, I haven't seen a single fill in this one or anything. But very nice. Quite enjoy that, and I got a really good price on this one. My next Peterson was this one. Now this is a pretty cool pipe. This is a Deluxe 1S. So it's the same Deluxe series as this. It's the highest end on the uh, Peterson system line. But this has a sandblast finish, which is not made anymore. So this pipe was from 1977. Comes with a nice, cool, dark sandblast finish. I don't know if we can see this here. Zoom in. Peterson Deluxe. Made in the Republic of Ireland. Shape 1S. And the weird thing about this pipe is at that time, in the late 70s, early 80s, they experimented with having pipes which could have a filter. So this pipe, you can actually put a 6 millimeter filter in there. Um, most of the system pipes have these metal stingers, like I showed you on here, that would screw into the end. But this one is not even threaded to accept a stinger. It's actually just meant to have a filter but I use it without a filter. And I really enjoy this pipe. I like this shape a lot. It's got a nice big bowl. So this is one where you can really enjoy a nice long smoke. And this, again, just feels great in the hand. That sandblast finish just feels really nice and tactile. Really good size, I have big hands, and this fits my hand really well. And even though it's a pretty big pipe, you can still clench it. And I guess this would be considered a bent pot, sort of. But I really, really enjoy this pipe. Quite nice. Then I procured this baby. This is a Peterson Deluxe, but it's not a deluxe system pipe. It's just a deluxe grade, so it's a higher end Peterson in their grading system. If we can see this here Peterson Deluxe, Sterling Silver again, Sterling Silver collar. And this is shape, let's see it here. Oh, yes, yeah, 6S. So this isn't, you know, in the deluxe line, the way Peterson numbers their system pipes, there's, you know, this pipe, which in the deluxe line is a 1S, in the normal system line would be a 301. This one does not have an equivalent. It's not in the system range, so this is a 6S. So I guess it would be equivalent to like a Peterson 106 um, size and shape of their billiard, so the bowl and everything, except it has a saddle stem. But anyway... I got this from, I believe I got this from Ireland. It was an eBay auction, and I was floored when I got this pipe. I love the grain on this, that cross grain, and bird's eye on either side. Really pretty, and it's a really open grain, too. I don't know if it's Algerian briar, maybe. It has that nice cross grain on the rim, cross grain on the back of the bowl. It's just a beautiful, be beautiful pipe. Um, smokes amazingly well. Love how this pipe smokes. I can smoke this, you know, I don't smoke very many bowls during the day, but occasionally I'll go out and, you know, actually during barbecue season around the 4th of July, I took this pipe out and I ended up having, I don't know, four or five bowls in a day. Never got wet, always smoked amazingly well. You can pass a pipe cleaner in here. I just love this pipe. Really good weight, very light. Feels good in the hand, excellent quality. Big fan of that one. Then, the next pipe I got for Peterson is this little guy. And this is a Peterson's patent. So it's actually a replica of the pipes that were made, you know, over a hundred years ago. And it has that same red, almost kind of Dunhill briar finish, which the old Peterson's often had. And this was made Oh, now I'm, I'm going to forget now. It was either 70, it was late 70s, I believe. I can't remember exactly. I'll have to look up that hallmark again. But when I purchased this, I didn't realize that it was unsmoked. And then when I received it, I was shocked to find that it was. It hadn't been smoked at all. And I remember, I think I even did a video of it when I was doing the first smoke. And I was commenting upon how it smoked great. But actually, after that video, I noticed... I don't know if they dip stained this or what, but there was a lot of stain in the bowl. And as I smoked it, that stain was actually uh, kind of becoming an aerosol, sort of, and coming up into the stem. 
didn't taste very good. This is one of those things that people talk about with Peterson pipes, how sometimes there's stain in the bowl and sometimes it's really annoying and hard to break in. That kind of was the case with this pipe. It took a while. I did some salt treatments and everything, used some alcohol, cleaned it out, but it took several weeks for this pipe to actually smoke well. Now it smokes amazingly well. I love it. It smokes really, really well. I like the grain on this. Um, nice graining around the bowl there. And I really think this finish is very attractive. Some bird's eye on the bottom. But yeah, this took a while for it to break in properly, but now I really enjoy it. It's actually very similar in bowl size to this 8S that I have, but there's something about this one that I like a little more. I'm not sure exactly why. Again, there's kind of that tactile quality. I just really enjoy how it feels in my hand. <clears throat> and this one, I got it. It didn't have the stinger on the end of it. And I actually wrote to Peterson and they just sent me several for free. So that's pretty nice customer service. All the way from Ireland, they just sent me a few stingers. So I'll always have some backups if I need them. Another Peterson I really enjoy. And then the last Peterson I got so far is this one. And this is the silver mounted army line. They have their normal army line um, that has just nickel mount here, but this is a silver mount. And we did an unboxing video and a first smoke video of this. This is a nice pipe. This is more of my kind of knock around Peterson pipe. It's probably the lowest grade Peterson I have. Um, and there's a fill on the rim, I think you can see there. Kind of started showing up after I had smoked it a while. Kind of irritating. I'd almost prefer it if they just didn't bother filling. Um, but it's fine. This is just sort of my take out anywhere pipe. If I'm on the go, I can take it with me. I'm not too worried about it. And it's kind of nice to have a pipe that I'm not like just so uptight about. I don't mind if this gets dinged up a bit or anything. And this is a very robust feeling pipe. Just feels like it could take a lot of abuse. But it smokes really well. All my Petersons have P-lips. Every single one. And I'm a fan. Anyway, that is my Peterson pipe collection thus far. I'm sure I'll be getting more. Um, Peterson and Savinelli are kind of, to me, my two favorite pipe brands right now. And obviously I haven't tried every brand. In fact, I've tried very few relatively to, uh, or relative to how many there actually exist. I'd really love to get a Costello at some point. I'd love to get a Dunhill. But for now, I really enjoy Peterson's and hopefully I'll be able to get some more. So there you have it. Those were my Peterson pipes. I'm a big fan of Peterson's for the most part. Um, I've always had pretty good experiences with every Peterson pipe I've had, except for the few little caveats which I mentioned while showing you the pipes. In other news, I'm going to take a little trip to New York next week, so I'm not sure exactly how many videos I'll be posting. I'll try to do some vlogging, perhaps, um, while I'm in New York. We'll see. I'm going to be pretty busy while I'm there, but maybe I'll be able to take a couple videos. But if you don't see me posting a video for a day or two, uh, I haven't, or a day or two, maybe for a week, it's not that I've fallen off the face of the earth or anything. I'm just in New York. I'm busy, but I will be back and I will be posting more videos. Also, I've got uh, a new microphone I'm using now, and hopefully this sounds a little better than the audio did previously. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Until next time, I've been your good friend Bradley, you've been the audience, this has been Stuff and Things, good day.